I would like to share with you something near and dear to my heart, clipboard managers. Whenever I mention a clipboard manager app, there's either one of two responses. Either people love them and can't live without them, or people have no idea what they're for. So in this video, I want to give you five reasons why you should use a clipboard app, and what is the clipboard anyway? Well, on any one of your Apple devices, Mac, iPhone, or iPad, every time you copy something, it goes onto your device clipboard, or you can do that with the Magic Keyboard shortcut Command-C. Then when you go to another application or another window, you can right-click and paste, or Command-V. But all of your Apple devices have pretty short-term memory. They can only remember one thing that you have copied to the clipboard. Now, Apple has added some cool features like Universal Clipboard, meaning multiple Apple devices signed into the same iCloud account. You can copy a piece of text or various other things and paste it on a different Apple device signed into that same iCloud account. You can do this with pictures, text, links, a bunch of different things. But when it comes to your Mac, you can actually download clipboard managing apps that will save hundreds if not thousands of clippings or things that you've command seed or copied, and then you can access them later, even search those things. So reason number one, using a clipboard manager can save a ton of time when you need to move a bunch of different pieces of text from one window or app to another. For instance, I have the five reasons why you need to use a clipboard app. Now I could copy number one, go over here to this other document, and then paste it, then go back, copy two, paste over here. But that is pretty tedious. This is where a clipboard manager app comes in. My personal favorite clipboard manager app is called Pastebot. It lives up here in the menu bar. I can click it and see all the things that I've recently copied to my clipboard. There are other clipboard managers like Paste, which lives here in the menu bar and then has everything down here. They format links to look nice and even have images that you've copied to your clipboard. Paste is also available in the Set App suite of applications, so you can get it there if you already have a subscription. But I prefer Pastebot. I'll put links to both in the video description. Now if I need to move multiple pieces of text, I'll copy one, select two, hit Command-C to copy two, then three, then four, then five, go up to Pastebot, and now I can select any of the things that I recently pasted. And if you jump into the settings of something like Pastebot, you can even set up keyboard shortcuts that allow you to quickly paste individual numbered clippings from your pasteboard. Right here I have Option Command 1, and Option Command 1 will copy the most recent thing to my pasteboard. Then I can do Option Command 2, that does the second to last, Option Command 3, 4, and 5, and using those shortcuts, I can pull from any of my recent clippings without having to go to the menu bar or go back to that original document. Number two, a great reason to use a clipboard manager is you can search all of your past clippings or however many you've saved and find something quickly. Maybe you forgot to bookmark a website or put a link in a note to save it for later. Well, it might be in your clipboard because you probably copy and pasted it into your address bar. Well, now if I open the paste bot, now I can search for YouTube links and it will pull up all the recent YouTube links that I've copy and pasted to my clipboard. And then I can just click one, paste that in Safari and visit the video. Number three, using a clipboard manager with an AI tool like ChatGPT can make your workflow even faster. One of my workflows is actually taking a video transcript that I just recorded and running that through ChatGPT to help me get titles, tags, and a description for the video. So right here, I'm gonna select all the text from the transcript of my video. And over here in ChatGPT, I'm actually gonna run a text expander snippet, which already has a prompt that I use with ChatGPT all the time, and then will include what I had on my clipboard. My text expander shortcut is just semicolon VGPT for video GPT. You'll see it just pasted the entire transcript plus this prompt. Write an SEO optimized YouTube video title and one sentence description based on this video transcript. I'll submit this to ChatGPT, and then it's gonna generate that title and description for me. The next thing I like to do is actually generate tags for this YouTube video, and I have a text expander snippet for that, semicolon TGPT for tags GPT. And then it will do the same thing, give me tags for a YouTube video that's comma separated, ready to copy and paste. Now to put this into a YouTube video description when I'm uploading a video, I can hit this copy, that will put the tags on my clipboard, and then I can also copy this title and description but I would actually like it separate to make it easier to paste later when I'm uploading the video. Well, I'll select the title and copy it. Then I'll select the description by itself and copy that with a command C. And now in my paste bot, I actually have the title of the video separate, the description of the video, and all those tags already on my clipboard. If you didn't have a clipboard manager app, you'd have to go back and forth from your chat GPT window to YouTube. This just saves a bunch of time. Now I'll open paste bot, get the title for this video, go down here in the description. Again, I could use the keyboard shortcuts for this, but I'll just paste the description there. Then I can go down to tags, open Pastebot one more time, and then do the comma separated list of tags. Boom, all done, all on my clipboard manager. Number four, you can avoid data loss by using a clipboard manager. You ever been filling out a form on the website? Maybe you're applying for a job or a school, and there's a bunch of form fields you have to type in long answers, but you didn't save any of that text in a note, and then suddenly the website crashed or your power went out, and now all those answers that you filled out in the form are totally gone. 
Well, when you use a clipboard manager, something I do when I'm filling out a long form, every time I've typed a long answer in that form, I'll just Command A to select all of it on my Mac, and then Command C to copy it to my clipboard. I don't have to save it in a note or find a document to put that. I just know it's in my clipboard app. So if this form crashes or I need to refill it out again, I can just go to the clipboard manager here on my Mac, and all of my long answers are saved. Then I can access them quickly to paste back in the form, and I don't have to think about typing all that stuff over again. So a clipboard manager can really help mitigate some of that data loss, especially when you're filling out forms. And number five, while it may not be a reason to use clipboard managers, you know you can trust clipboard managers when you get them from a developer you trust. There are lots of different clipboard apps on the Mac App Store, but I wouldn't trust most of them. I like to know the developer I'm getting it from because the clipboard manager has to have access to everything that you copy and paste, which can sometimes mean passwords. But apps like Pastebot and Paste that I mentioned before that's in the Set App Suite, when you go to their preferences and settings, you can actually choose to blacklist certain applications. Here I've chosen to blacklist Keychain Access, which is the password saving mechanism on your Mac, and 1Password. So when I copy passwords or two-factor authentications from that app, I know Pastebot is going to ignore my clipboard at that point and not save that sensitive password. Not all clipboard managing applications have that feature, and again, you should trust your clipboard manager developer. So again, I would recommend Pastebot and Paste. Those are the two that I've used and trust. Links are in the video description. And if you have any questions about clipboard managers or just increasing your productivity on macOS, leave me a comment below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Lots of updates on iOS 17 features coming this fall, iPadOS 17, and how to use ChatGPT using shortcuts on your iPhone. If you want to learn more about that video, you can check it out right here.